Um, Dominic Augustine, I'm a mechanical engineer up here at Michigan Tech, and our project was the portable assistive mobility device. Um, so as you can see, what our project was, was that they wanted a solution about 30 years down the road when cities are so crowded that nobody has a personal vehicle anymore. They wanted something that could get you from like the bus stop to your home, home office, and back to the bus stop. So what we came up with was basically an electric skate design that uh, where the novel approach comes in is that when you're actually using the device, this is folded out when it's in operating mode and then Basically, if you want to go get a cup of coffee or walk into the office, walk into the bus, you can just fold this under while you're still wearing it and actually walk on the device. Uh, hi, I'm Zach Tubbs. I'm from MTU, part team six, uh, doing the portable assistive mobility device. Uh, what we've got here for the electronics is a, an AR600 from the Spectrum uh, receiver, typically used in uh, RC devices. And then we have a Sabre 2 12 amp dual driver. It can actually operate two motors. Then that's cooked up to our, our motor here, which will actually be placed underneath the carriage right in that section. My name is Charlie Song. And uh, here is the uh, plant element analysis. Uh, we use the uh, APCUS to do the plant element analysis to our design. And uh, we put a uh, 450 pounds uh, each person weight uh, on the surface of this skate. I showed the maximum stress is 4.584 megapascal. And uh, this strong uh, compared to the air stress of aluminum, um, this, this uh, maximum stress is more this means is strong enough to support the human weight. I'm Will Byers, mechanical engineer at MTU. Um, for the portable assisted mobility device here, we have a couple of things that we wanted to implement in the future because this is actually just a proof of concept at this point um, to prove that something can be made the, to these dimensions that will actually function. So what we want to do is make this body um, out of maybe glass full polymers, something like that, that's going to have the same strength to weight ratio, um, or sorry, better strength to weight ratio than the aluminum that we're currently using. Um, and right now we have a wireless system that works, however it's a little bit bulky, what we want to do is actually implement something right here that will strap to the user's wrist, allow them to control the device without using both of their hands. Um, we also have a, a business team that's been working with us, they're not here right now, but we've actually looked at some market research of who might use this device, uh, we've actually saw, seen a lot of older people that you wouldn't think would maybe use something like this that are very willing to uh, actually maybe ride it um, and, and looking at different products that are out there that are similar to this and maybe how we can market it and how we might implement it.